Hello everybody, JuicyTaz201 here, bringing you another tutorial. Today's tutorial is the lobby tutorial for the One World Trade Center, aka the Freedom Tower right behind me. And so we're going to start that right away, and here we go. So what you're going to need today is white concrete, we're going to start out with that. Um, we'll be doing the flooring second, and we'll do the interior walls then. First we need to get the, the main part of the exterior slash inside walls. So what we're going to do is we are going to get three blocks, one, two, three, put it right there on the inside. Over here will be the same. You're going to get one, two, three. Oops, right here. Same over here. And right here. Now you can use whatever like material right down here. Um, nobody's going to be able to walk in this area. But if you want, you can put light. And if you want, you can just put like carpet or something like that. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to get a, a light in here. I don't know which one I want to use yet. We'll see. How about we use the sea lantern? We're going to put one right here. As I said, you can just leave this you know, blank. You can put like carpet or whatever in here. Nobody will be in here. I'm just doing this for like nighttime effects. And we can because there's no ice around it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the white concrete back out. We're going to go up eight blocks. So this is going to count as number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and just bring that up right here. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same. So we're gonna go up um, eight again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I could have went right up, but I always try to count my work, recount it, make sure everything's correct. And what we'll do right here is we're gonna go up to the top. So I think it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. So that's all right. Um, I'm just designing this now, and so it doesn't really matter like what this this is right here. So, so we're gonna go up eight again. So you have the one right here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just gonna bring it up to here. One, two, three. Oops, fell. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, here we go. Let's do it again right here. So make sure we have the right number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you got eight right there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven right there. All good. We have two more corners, and then we're gonna move on to the next part. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do this right away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I don't have to count then the rest. Now what I forgot to do, and I just noticed, inside here, before you put these walls here, um, as I said, is put a block in here next to there so it looks nice from the outside. I knew I forgot something. All you gotta do is just break a block and replace it in over here. Oops. We'll do the same over here. I don't want that to stick out, so I want, I'm not going to be putting like a bright color in there, like an orange, so that's why I'm using like a dark gray. And we'll bring this up right here. We'll finish this one over here. Two, three, four, five, six. Keep doing that. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. Okay, it is eight though, so I'm not going to recount it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just bring this up right here. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to connect the gray parts like that to there. We're going to connect all of this. And so what we want to do is we want to keep the, the glass. We're going to cover the glass from the inside. And we'll still have light coming in from here. I'm going off the real design in New York City. And I was just there a few days ago, so I had a better look at it. It's hard to do what they actually did, though, in real life, because it is so unique how they did it. Okay. So what we do now is take this block, and it doesn't matter how organized you do it. We just need to get all this filled in. Like this. And we're 
we're pretty much just covering this whole entire glass. I might skip to the other part then, but um, I'll do like two sides and then I'll cut it because it's pretty easy to tell what I'm doing, hopefully. Just got to fill this in. And then we'll do that side over there. I'll zoom out though for you guys to see what I'm doing. And we'll make it nighttime before we move on because I want to see those corners at night. It probably lights up the whole entire exterior. And we'll fill it in over here. And now we're moving. This speed's much better. <laughs> I had to use that potion, you know. I don't like using it for tutorials, as I said, but... Since we're doing busy work, um, you're also going to fill this area in over here. But since we're doing busy work, I want to let you guys know that um, we are over 10,000, as you all know. And let's keep climbing. Be sure to subscribe and like. Also, be sure to watch, uh, well, look at my area below. I have the, the in the description area. I was trying to think of the name. Description area, I have the Discord invite for anybody who wants to be able to chat with me. I'm on there every so often. And also my Xbox club group. It's Juicy Taz 201 fan page. Um, it's where you guys can share your work with me, and I love looking at it, but it's only for Xbox uh, One, so I'm sorry. If you're not on Xbox, I'm sorry. But if you're on PS4 also, I'm sorry. But if you're on Xbox, you're lucky. <laughs> and also follow me on Twitter if you're on there. So I have a lot of uh, pictures of my builds I post in there, and I also do a lot of update tweets. I don't post a lot, so I, I say what I'm working on, you know, I'm... A YouTuber slash builder, so it's hard for me to post daily. So again, it's going to get very dark in here, so we're going to be putting some lights in here later. Just to see what we build. Now there's also certain things I can't do on here since we're on a super flat. Um, and also the building is made for super flat worlds. So uh, if you're like on another world that's like a few blocks off the ground, um, everything changes. And you guys will see what I mean when we do the, the main area below me. And also when I was in New York City, I noticed that the observatory part, which I'll show you, is facing the Hudson River. This side is actually facing the Hudson River, so if anybody wants to face the World Trade Center towards the water, this is the, the side. Okay, so we have that done. I'm going to skip uh, to the next part for these right over here to do this. And before we do that, let me see one thing. I want to see the corners at night. Okay, that, that looks really cool. We can even add more if we need to, but that's just to light it up for right now. Okay, so you can see the, the glass designs when you put the white uh, concrete in. You can see it more defined. And uh, the the ta the what do you call it the chamfered or tapered edges of the building there. So yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're going to skip to the next uh, part. I'm gonna finish this up inside. I'll get that all done with the white concrete, and then we'll skip to the next part. Okay, everybody, we're back, and so the walls are done on the inside. So we're gonna move on to the next part, which is the floor. What I did is I dug it out right here so you guys can have to watch me dig it, all this, you know, the dirt out and all the grass. So what we're going to do now is we are going to get the blocks we need out. So what I use for the, the flooring, what I'm going to be using on here is the, the Scion Terracotta and the Quartz Pillar. But if you guys don't have, um, like say if you're like in another texture pack and these materials do not like look like this at all, um, try to use a different one. Try to use, if you can, like gray concrete or a, you know, white concrete for the white part. But I'm using the, the uh, cyan terracotta and the quartz pillars because we're in default and they look really good. So first, before we do that, get your cyan terracotta or your gray material out. And you see these doors right here? I want you all to put a block right there. And that's going to go for all the, the entrances. So even over here. And we'll just do it on all sides. 
No. Oh, sorry. Uh, so uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> yeah, so what I was going to say is um, for the building, it is like so big in real life, and I could not get that size, you know, the same for Minecraft because, you know, uh, height limit does not allow certain things like that, you know, for the sizes. You don't want a chunky Freedom Tower, so um, I could make it only 33 blocks long, so I had to condense a lot of things in here, so bear with me. It's not going to look 100% like the real one, but it's going to look very similar, and it's going to look just, it's still going to look really good. So, what we're going to do now, since we have the entrance is all done with this part right here is we're going to map out how the floor is going to be laid out I did it over there already but I want to see you guys um, I want you guys to see me do it here so sorry so since we have these gray parts right here we're just gonna line it up with that and put the pillar in the middle and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it right here too so that's all lined up with the windows so I'll make this easier so we're gonna go two 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 right here and two and put this in between and right here and these right here okay simple enough now what we're gonna do is we're going to bring these blocks all the way over here we're just gonna you know drag it all the way over if you know what I mean before we do that I wanna get some potion of swiftness okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna connect this part to the other side And I'm going to do all the gray parts first because I don't want to go back and forth between blocks. So if you're wondering why I'm using gray and white, it's the most uh, similar material that I could use and layout I could do for Minecraft that looks like the real lobby. The real part, like in the World Trade Center, like the real, real floor is actually like a, a very thin piece of metal which is what we're using for white, which I'm doing wrong right here. Don't put that there. Got to do that. See, it's easy to get confused with this because your mind automatically wants to fill in that empty space right there. Mine does anyways. But uh, yeah, the real one, the white part, is actually like a metal line. But to represent that, I got to use like a whole entire block. So what you going to do? It's the best I can get it to look. But I think it still looks really good so far. It's not much to it, but there's enough room, I feel, to do a lot. I hope it's not too dark. I didn't put any glowstone in the middle. I only have it on the sides. So. And we're almost done with the, the gray part. Where are we at? Oh, okay. Yeah, we have a little bit of time. And two more, two more whole entire lines. And the last part. Oops, there we go. I'm very clumsy when it comes to building on here. I don't know why. Okay, so now we're going to do all the white parts with the, the pillar. And just bring it all the way over like that. It's going to look really nice too when it's done. Now, I'm not sure if anybody who's watching this video remembers my old World Trade Center. You probably do. My lobby in my city, which is Roosevelt City. hope everybody knows that's my city by now. Uh, but the lobby inside there... Um, is a carpet like the gray carpet because we didn't have the the all these materials back then so I should really update mine but uh, that's why I'm going with this material because it looks more um, chic and more real and if this is your first time watching my video welcome to the channel be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you see there's a lot of videos that kind of that are kind of like this so be sure to check those out too And I assumed if you guys are building this, you already watched the tutorial and you were waiting for the, the lobby part. This will not work for the the other one I had because the lobby is a little bit different. The sizing is a little bit different. So 
you have to build this uh, the most recent tutorial of the Freedom, Freedom Tower slash World Trade Center that I did. Okay, so all the lines are done, and look how beautiful that looks. It looks awesome. It looks gorgeous. Let's take a picture of it. <laughs> now, uh, next we're going to do is the layout, and I'm going to cut to that. Okay, so I just did a few walls, uh, the planning of it, and we're going to build those next. So what I did right here for the long side is I went three blocks away from the entrance. So I'm going to build it over here on the other side. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go across from this window right here, the end one, and we are going to go down to right here till we line up with that one. And I'll count that for you guys so you guys know how long that is. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 blocks. And we're going to go three blocks over. So we have three blocks in between here. And we have four blocks right here so far. And we're just going to, you know, let's duplicate it like over here. And we'll do it over here. And that's wrong. Okay, so let me, before we continue, I want to drink some of this potion. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take these walls up to, well, I'll show you guys where. Right here, to right now, for right now. And I might actually shave a block off that. Let's shave this right here. Because we're going to be doing the ceiling a little bit different then. I'll most likely save the ceiling for last because it'll get a lot darker. frame these walls out. They will change. I will be, you know, cutting out of them and everything. I just want to get the basic flat planes up of the wall. It's a very tall lobby. Anybody who's been there in real life knows that, that the ceiling is nice and high and uh, it's a lot of white, very clean, modern look. We're almost at the other side, so I think it won't take much longer. And I hope it's not too dark. I hope you guys can see. I'll put more lights in here since the flooring's already done. That should help it in here. And so, since we're stopping like right here, I'll count it for you guys so you guys all know what the level we're starting at. So this will count as one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So it's twenty-two high. And just bring this up. So this is the long side. If anybody's wondering, this side faces the memorial fountains. And this side faces the Hudson over here. So if anybody's just wondering. Now, most of you probably are not making a realistic, you know, New York City, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just saying, for real life, that's how it's positioned. I don't understand why Minecraft does that sometimes. See what I just did there? It does, like, doubles it up and then it misses the middle one. I don't understand that at all. Hope that I'm not the only one that that happens to. <laughs> Here, I'm going to do something makes it easier so I know where to stop with the wall for the height. I'll fill this inside in. It should go much faster now. Surprise, there looks like there's like a lot more room in here from my last tutorial, so maybe there is. I haven't checked out the last one, my old one, I mean, like from like two or three years ago. I know in the old one, I didn't leave enough room for the staircase, but I never did the tutorial for the inside, so for that one. This one, people have been asking me to do a tutorial for this, and I told everybody I would in the last tutorial of the World Trade Center, so I'm living up to that promise, and I'm building it right now. And it looks really good. And just bring 
like that. Okay, so now we have both main entrances. Um, now since we are working with a, you know, it's Minecraft, so it's not going to be the exact, as I said before. We need to just change a few things up. Over here, as I said, is the entrance. So we're going to start, this is the, for the, you know, if you go to the top of the World Trade Center, the observatory, this is where you would go in. So I cut the clip real quick, and I did the floors in the inside, so I got this all right, and I did not stop at all, you know, no interruptions. What we're going to do now is we're going to do the observatory, as I said, and we're going to start over here. I'll show you all the counting. This is all the basic work, and th there will be no steps in here. There will be only ladders because try I'm trying to get the most realistic effect of the, the real world trade center, but if you do not like the, the ladder effect oh, with the elevators, in a way, it's supposed to be elevators, but they're ladders, you can put steps instead in their place. It's up to you guys. I usually use steps and ladders now, but um, there's not enough room for that. We're going to start over here, observatory deck area. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over three from this window right here. Just picture it just like this. There's nothing here. You're going to go from here. You're going to put one block right here. You're going to go over three. Okay, and then you're going to go over four. Then you can go over this way. You can go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 blocks long. You're going to go out 4 right here. 3, it's going to line up with that. And you can go in here the rest of the way, which is uh, 3 blocks. So simple enough. And then you're going to go in here. This will be for the, the ladder slash elevator. Though this is going to be for the only the observatory. So this can go straight to the top. And it's not going to have any interru interruptions or stops. So... We'll start with that and we'll get those walls up. Hope everybody understands what I'm doing here. I just did it so everybody knows how the layout's going to be. And make sure you go like to that level. Make sure they're all leveled. And down here. And sorry, as I said before, it's a little dark up here. Down there, it's not as bad. I don't want to use the, the nighttime potion because that gets, like, too bright. And so, um, you guys are probably wondering why there's no uh, ladder area right here. It's because, you know, going all the way up, it's going to go with, like, through a few floors. So it could interrupt the view for a lot of floors. So I just want, you know, the single... One to go all the way up. This can go all the way to the top observatory, as I said. You have to build around it for the floors. But if you do not want to have that in your way while you're building the, the floors out, then I would not put the observatory ladder. Just, you know, have the area where it says observatory, but the ladder would be in the middle. Anyways, sorry for the silence there, just making sure you get everything right. And break that. The other side over there will not be like this at all. It's going to be very simple because it's more of a, like a locked entrance. They don't really allow anybody to go through there unless you work here, so... And just bring this up. We'll put all the little details in at the end because the details are always important to me. And that's all done. So this is the observatory area. This is what the layout's going to be. Um, you know, it's a little compact, but I had to make it this way. I'm sorry. And since we're starting that, at the end of these walls, there's a, like a little area right here. This is a storage area they use for, you know, science and stuff. We're just going to fill that in all the way up. You can put a door there or not. The doors are only enterable from the outside uh, in the real World Trade Center, so it's up to you guys. I'm not going to be putting the doors there because it kind of interrupts the, the view of the building. But you have that room in there if you want it. I don't think it's really that, like, of a important space. I really don't think it matters, though. And we have these ones over here yet. Nope. And one more line. 
And right there. I'll go to the other side for the last part of this corner. And we are done with that. So next we're going to do is the, the core of the building. This is the most important part going all the way up. This is going to go through the whole entire thing. So make sure you guys get this right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from this wall. Oops, you do not want to break anything. So this is what we just made in here. You're going to be able to walk through here and then over to here. There's going to be metal detectors right here, but we're not going to make those just yet. So um, it's going to be right here is four blocks. Then you're going to go over three. And then you're going to have this wall right here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine blocks long. And then you're going to go in over here, four blocks. In two, leave one open, one, oh, leave one open, one, leave one open, two, and then it's four. Then you're going to do that over here. I hope that makes it easy. These lines help too for lining things up. And what you could do right away is just take this all the way up there, but I do not have the time for that. So that's what would be the, the whole entire elevator kind of shaft. I swear this is more spacious than the original design. It, there's so much more room in here. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I, didn't, I don't think I did anything different, though. That's, that's the odd part. So it looks really great. complete the walls around. That part over here we won't do uh, during the video. I'm just going to clip that, you know, do it off camera. Saves time, you know. And we will start with some of the elevators or the ladders. I'll put a few in just to show what they'll look like. Two more lines over here. And since this is such a, like a historical building and a important building, I'm going to use some patriotic colors. You do not have to use these colors. This is just because, uh, you know, I love this building. So we're going to use red. Um, let's see. It's never easy, is it? <laughs> we'll use red and blue because we have the white in the whole entire building now in here if you want you guys could actually use you know like wood I would use for a more nice chic look I would use the Acadia or Acadia wood yeah depending on what texture pack you're in um, that would make it look more modern like a doll but since we're in here and it's such a important building in America in a historical site using some of uh, these nice colors. It's a little dark. I hope you guys can see where I'm building. Just keep bringing it up. Okay. So you have the red part over here. That's red. And we'll do the same over here with the blue. Okay, and when we're when we're done, sorry, I can't get it out. When we're done, it's gonna look like that, but in blue. So I'll leave that for the other part. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to, you know, we this was nine blocks right here, so we're gonna go over three. So you have a three block area right here, and you're gonna go over. Once you get three, you can put one, two, three, four. Stop with the four, and there should be a three open space right here. Okay, and then bring this corner up. And then what you're gonna do now is you're going to take the four blocks you have right here go up with it. Do the same right here. And just bring them all up. And right here. Now with the real building, it is the white concrete is actually like a, a marble, like a white marble, which is beautiful. It's expensive, but very beautiful. Um, so it would have more grain to it, but I can't really do that on here. 
unless I was using, you know, like quartz block. Um, but I'm using that for here. I just didn't think that would be like the right material. But if you want, you guys can use that. It's probably too late now that I'm saying that, but it doesn't matter. The white, I think, is in my opinion, I would keep the white because it looks more clean. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over three. See, it goes right through the middle there of three. You bring this up. I'm pretty much just duplicating that side. It's one big duplication, this whole entire side. And it is four long. Oops, keep messing up there. Let's bring that down. And we're going to do four over here too as well. And right here. Okay, so we have the main walls up. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll do this right in a few seconds. But before we keep going on and continuing, I want to just make sure you guys know a white block goes up here. So you go three blocks up and you leave one right there. You put one right there, I mean. Um, and it's, I wanted some more light in here so you guys can see what I'm doing. I already Oh, I already had a light in my inventory area. Just random lights. We will take these down later on. Um, I just needed to see. I want you guys to be able to see where I'm working. I feel kind of bad that it's dark in here. Okay. So we have the white concrete. We're going to go up three, as I said, and just bring it up. That's going to go right to the ceiling. These kind of look gray from right here, but don't worry, they're white. Okay. So we have that done. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do the other side as well. So let me just take a quick, you know, break right here. Okay, so everything is finished when it comes to the elevator area over here, and so I have all the ladders in here, so we're going to do the other side for the ladders real quick. What I'm going to show you guys is how to light this part. How we're going to light it all the way up is just like this. So you're going to go up one from here, and you can put it right here, and right there. So you don't want to see it when you're walking by, so it looks really good if it's like lit right there, because it provides enough light, but you won't see it when you're walking by. It looks nice. And we're going to do that right here, too. And one right here. Okay, now you're going to get your ladders, and you're going to go all the way up. Now, this would go all the way to the top, as I said before, so I'd be going on forever, but I didn't do it in this video, so I just have to go a few blocks up. And go down here. And just bring it all the way up like that. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same thing over here. This is for the observatory deck. And that would go all the way up there as well. Go three blocks up and put this above it. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the details with the open parts right here in the wall. Um, you're going to do that on the other side of the building uh, in the lobby. And it's going to go one, it's going to be cut you know, one above the frame right there. So you're going to go up four blocks and do it. So I'll, here we'll do it right now. One, two, three, four. Break that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, shave off that one and that one. So it'd be seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you just go down here. And you want to do it right there so you have maximum amount of open spaces. It gives light to the building and it gives a really cool design if you're looking at it from over here. Okay. So that's done now. We do some more we're gonna do some more details. And then we're gonna put the ceiling on. Get your white uh oh, you're not your white concrete, your uh, clay, or whatever light gray you have. I'm gonna be using clay for this. What we're going to do is we're going to go up here, and since the ceiling mark is going to be about right here, the ceiling's going to be right there, you have this open space. This will be if you decide to do redstone lighting, that's why I left this open space. If you don't, then it's just going to be, you know, empty space, you can just use it as, and so. So what we're going to do is since we have the window right here, as I said, the ceiling will be going across right here. So for right now, 
put in that line right here, this this block I mean, and bring it across. So, say you have this open space right here, it would go right in the middle of that. That's four blocks, okay? So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blocks up, so you can go eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go up the ninth and put the four blocks. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, sorry guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Keep messing up here. And I don't feel like counting anymore, so I'm just going to go straight across like this. Okay. So we have that done, and this is the main exterior part in the lobby where you walk in. They have artwork right here on the wall, so you guys can put whatever you want right here. They have, um, in the real building, I mean, they have like, you know, a painting, a very cool abstract painting. So right now they do. I think it changes. I'm not too sure, though. So right now we're going to get the front desk, which is, it's white. So the original design was it was going to be wood, but they decided not to go with that for some reason. I do not know why. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this, and ooh, it got really dark in here. Okay, so I have the, the what, do you, what do you call this, uh, mushroom? Bone block, that's not mushroom, I'm sorry guys, I'm losing it. And do it right here too. And right here. Use any kind of white material for here. And do that right there. And right there, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your white carpet. If I can find it. There it is. Just put it on top of here like this. And you want a white that is different than the wall white. That's why I'm using this, the bone block. Okay. Those are the front desks. Very important. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do the, the, uh, the what do you call it? The uh, safety, security, the metal detector things. So I don't know a good design for this. I used... Uh, I'll show you what I used for mine. Now, anybody can use whatever. You guys can use whatever you want to design for this. I'm just going to use a basic one for the tutorial because I do not want to be here all day recording. <laughs> so, I wish they had black for this, but they don't. That's what I do right there. That's my security. And you have some wise guys who come over here and they, well, in my world, they, they, you know, close them all. And where did I put those over there? Did I do it at the end? Yeah, I did them at the end, so. Yeah, you want to do them at the end. And do them over here. And over here, guys. It's a very important building. We need some security in here. Okay, so we have that done. Next part will be, let's see if we have, is there a red behind here? Yeah, there is. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a cool, just a little bit of a detail here. In the building they have like a cool glass thing. What we're going to do instead is we are going to change it up. And we're going to, let's see what we're going to use. Okay, what we're going to use instead of the glass, because they have the cool glassing, as I said, we're going to use a, a light material. Just gives some definition to the, the area, the space. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven. Yeah, it doesn't really matter though. 
As long as there's like one block at the end for each side. Let's go over here. Okay, I made it three high. Okay. Next part is the ceiling. And I'm going to use the block of quartz. And what we're going to do is we're going to go above here. So it's going to be like, you know, above that part right here. It should be like that then when we're done. I'm going to cut to the finished product of the ceiling. But uh, before we do that, it goes, it's like right there. It's one above the gray rim. Okay, the ceiling is all finished and it looks beautiful. There was a lot of a lot of things I had to go around to put it in, but um, it looks good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of an outcut of the um, entrance over here of the observatory. So there is a window right here. In well, in the real building, there's a window right here. So we want to make sure we get everything accurate. I don't want to forget anything. And what did I use? Oh, I used clay. So let me get the clay out. I don't want to use that material I'm using right now. Okay, I never put it in my inventory. That's just great. There it is. Oh, wait, I did. I'm losing it. Okay, so three right here. And we go down. We want to be level with that, so that's four. I'm a mess, but we're going to get it right. <laughs> so four right there. And put a window. What we're going to do instead of the four, we're actually going to put, make it three. It's my first time building this, so sorry if I'm going to be a little confusing. Yeah, three right there. So just to clarify what we have, we have three right here, and it goes down four. And put glass in here. I'm using the white glass. You guys can use whatever one you want. Okay. And now, real quick, is we're going to put the little desk where uh, they sit at. And they, you know, bring people in for the observatory deck. Simple like that. There's more to it in real life, but we do not have enough room for that. So, I would definitely put a sign note right here saying observatory deck. I put all the doors in. You guys can use whatever doors you want. I just use those because they're white and they, you know, kind of blend in with the building. They're kind of ugly, though, but, you know, they blend in. That's all I care about. So, we're going to worry about lighting next. And what we need is we need some good lighting in here because it's dark. So break three blocks like this. Okay, three. And then go down here, do the same. And I'll show you guys a really cool lighting technique. We're going to do right here, find the center point. Okay, three right there. Break three right there, okay. So the next we got to find the where we should put light in here. So I'll put through right here. And it right here. Now the great thing about the space above us upstairs is there's nothing in there, so it allows us to do some nice lighting down here. And you guys are probably wondering what I mean, but I will be showing you guys. It's really cool. And break through right here in the lobby. Um, let's actually get this one. Um, let's make this four instead. I'm not going by the real lighting they have in the building, so I'm just just follow with what I'm doing. Okay, so we have that block right there. Take a picture of that. <laughs> and let's do the same over here. So we have a lot of lighting in here. Okay, next we are going to do in here. We're going to do the lighting. One right there, one down here, should be about three in the middle for spacing. There's not, okay. It's my first time doing the lighting in here, sorry guys. Uh, let's wait for that. And the real one has like the lights along this part right here, so we'll do that. We'll stay accurate for that. And you go two in between. Like so. 
And over here, we'll do the same. Find the center point, go up, break that. Two, 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 two. Like wearing a tutu. And over here. Perfect, we have that so far. Over here, I think I'm going to do the same. One, two, two. Perfect, right there. And we're going to light these when I go upstairs. And we'll put another one right here. The more lighting, the better, because... Let's actually make these three. The more lighting, the better, because it can get very dark in here, as you guys see. So let's make that a three. And find the center right here. Perfect. Now I am assuming that it will still be dark below even when we put the lights in. So I'll have to find a, a, a method or solution for that. Which will not be hard because I'm a master, I'm a master at this stuff. <laughs> so get your white stained glass. And put it in all the empty spots from above. I'm upstairs where there's going to be nothing in here. And make sure you hit all these open spots with glass. Now, I'm bound to probably miss one in the tutorial because I do miss things sometimes. Like when I was working on the antenna in the World Trade Center tutorial, I, I forgot to put one block and a, a viewer caught it. And I commented back why because I forgot. Okay, it's trying to hit every single one. And I'm going to show my method how I do lighting for two lights, and then you guys can finish it off when you build it. If you decide to do the interior, just how I did it. Looks like I got these ones. I can't really tell. It's kind of dark, so it makes it hard. Um, over here, I didn't do these, though. Okay, I believe that's all of them. Now what we're going to do is you're going to get your glowstone out. Don't worry, you will not see it. So this is a secret. Do not tell anybody on YouTube or don't tell any of your friends, guys. <laughs> wink, wink, I, I, I'm doing a video. Uh, you guys can tell whoever you want. So get white carpet out. Put that above it, above the glass right here. Now get your carpet and place like that. And we're going to go below, and I'll show you guys how it looks. Some of you guys are about to be, like, you know, blown back. Be like, what? Right there. There's modern lighting for you guys in the default. <laughs> Nobody does that in their world that I've seen, unless there's some people out there who have, but I haven't seen it out there. So what you do is around these single ones, it's simple. Just do this. Okay, get your quartz block. You can break down to here. They're all done, and they look really nice. They add, they add a little bit of light. I don't think enough. So uh, we're going to have to disguise some of the lighting. Which I should have expected for a high ceiling like this, but I, I knew that it might be not enough. So, just trying to find all the, you know, there it is, leftover blocks. And what I'm going to do is, you know, usually I would use ender rods. So let me see if I want to use those. Now, depending if you are a, a city texture pack builder or a default, I know city texture pack, the ender rods look ugly, so you can use just the... The uh, ender lights, is it? Or the beacon? Sorry, not, not ender lights. I don't even know if there are ender lights. But that that could add something. I'm not sure about outside, though. Yeah, it doesn't look good outside. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let me think here. What I would definitely do right here, though, behind the desk is add some lighting 
this always is a good technique. And just get your carpet, and you just place a carpet over it, and that hides that right away. Just like that. And for here, it's definitely all right to use uh, ender ender lights or the beacons. Ender lights. What's the ender lights? It's beacons. <laughs> It's alright these beacons right here because there's down it's downstairs and there's nothing behind there. And I went three blocks off the ground putting the corners. That adds a lot of light. Just like that. Wow, that actually added a lot of light. And what I do right here, I'm going to get a ender, uh, not the ender, why do I keep saying ender? They should make that a light now. I, I, I declare that being a light. Sea lantern, that's what I want. Put sea lanterns in the corners right here. Get your white stained glass. There, here it is. And you place in there. And maybe put one right here in the middle, or like that. Add some lighting. Heck, maybe even put one right here. Doesn't look that bad to me anyways. Do you guys find another way of putting lights and go right ahead at it? And to make sure everything's lit up. And definitely put one right behind here. You know, I'll just dig that one down there. Okie dokie. So, that's the interior. Hope everybody likes how it turned out. It looks really cool from out here, actually, with the, the broken lines. Anyways, guys, I thank you for watching this very short tutorial. <laughs> Sarcasm, not short at all. My tutorials are never short, so I'm very sorry. But every detail is there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out all the links below. Have a good one, guys. Bye.